let's uh, talk about perceptual processing and conceptual processing. So we have a three levels of processing that is a cognitive processing. And this cognitive processing, we also call mental processing, information processing. So when we teach children, let's say young children, preschool age, before five, even kindergarten level children are more sensory processing level. So that is a sensory discrimination. So you see, hear, and touch, and you know what those are, but you don't. You may not know exact functions of each item. And perceptual process uh, is uh, factual information, physical information. So it's uh, similar to sensory. However, this uh, per perceptual level, the child can categorize, uh, classify because uh, based on the functions. So, so each items, uh, visual items or just a sound and they know those functions. So when they hear vacuum sound, uh, they know somebody's cleaning the house. So instead of uh, in sensory level, they just say vacuum sound. So only the sound. However, perceptual level, they could connect uh, that sound means uh, my mom is cleaning the house, vacuum the house. Uh, so when they hear more, more sounds outside and then somebody is uh, more the grass, so they could guess, you know, they know those. So these are the all functions. So light is for dark, bright the darkness. So usually at night, we turn on the light. So light is for the dark. So they know the function and then they connect those, you know, object and object similar functions. So it's like, you know, when you wear shoes, so you go outside and then you put on a socks before you put on your shoes. So those are, you know, orders, a sequence of, you know, motor planning so they know. And then when you brush, you know, teeth, you need a toothpaste and then you find your right, you know, tooth, so toothbrush. So that's all, you know, perceptual level processing, that's a factual information and physical information. So when we connect that one to comprehension, it is more literal comprehension, linguistic comprehension, because linguistically you see it, you can physically, you can see it and then you can discriminate. So most of linguistic comprehensions, uh, when you read a book, you can find the answer inside the book. When you hear a story, the story has answers. So usually just like a who, and then you can say who, because the story talks about the characters. And then you can answer where, when, and uh, what. Those kind of answers, uh, WH questions, so they can answer, they can go back to the you know, passage or story they heard, uh, and then they can answer those. Next, the highest level, not highest, but higher level is a conceptual process. This concept, conceptual process uh, is a processing abstract information, abstract that is uh, not really, you can see it, and you can feel it, and then the answer is not there. So it's more like a conceptual driven, conceptually driven, that's you know, abstract concepts, and then we call it a inferential comprehension. So inferential comprehension, simply we say just a between line. Those between line comprehension requires the child's guess and expectation and plan and prediction and their hypothesis of the you know, lines. So through the story, there is no words or phrase or just sentences for the answers. So they have to guess it, they have to uh, expect it. They can, when somebody said, and then they just uh, could expect, they could plan, they could predict, they could you know, hypothesize. So let's say, what example we can use? Uh, um, yeah, let's say mom went to the store, grocery store, and she came without any groceries. And then you ask the child, so where did your mom go? And then try to say grocery store. So who went to the grocery store? My mom went to the grocery store. 
And then you ask, what is your mom want to buy? And then mm, it's a little bit of, you know, guess they need, but they know, you know, previously, usually mom bought, you know, milk, you know, fruits or meats or something. So based on their prior experiences, the child can guess. So it is a between perception and conceptual, right? But it's more factual based and the prior knowledge based, but still a little bit of a guess the child could say. And then if, you know, in the morning, some happenings, like, you know, they were out of milk or out of bread or something, and then child guess it could be a little bit more precise. Then, you know, teacher asked, so why did your mom come back without groceries. And then it is a more serious guess the child gotta do, right? And or just hypothesize or predict and so more higher level thought process requires. So the child say, hmm, she came back because she doesn't wanna do grocery shopping or some child say, hmm, she came back because she's tired <laughs> or she came back, oh, but she forgot her purse. So she didn't have a money. She didn't have a card, <laughs> something. So those answers are more between line. It's more like an inferential comprehension. So it could connect the prior knowledge or it could be just out of blue, just child says answers. And let's say just, you know, you, you ran so hard at the park or you played soccer with your friend at the park and it was a very hot sunny day. So you sweat a lot. And then on the way home, your mom took you to the convenience store. And then you ask her why you and your mom went to the convenience store. So it was just a story. And then child could say to buy some snack or mom want to buy some hamburger for me or some, you know. However, that has sunny day, played, you know, soccer or just walked hard, ran hard, you know, some sweaty activities they did. So that was the story ahead. So if a child connect those story and then child could guess or just, you know, infer and say, it was very hot and then I was sweaty. So my mom want to buy cold drink for me or just whatever they can you know, make a specific name. So that's, uh, you know, inferential comprehension and it requires those higher levels, you know, thinking process. So you could say again, you know, sensory level, you know, processing, perceptual level processing, and then conceptual level processing. So when child has a very difficult comprehension difficulties. And then you have to teach it from the this sensory level. Of course, you know, based on the child cognitive levels and the intellectual levels and some disabilities, you know, have a child has a lot of variables. And then where child is, but usually if we teach a child, based on the inferential comprehension and child has a difficulty with the inferential comprehension. Usually teachers just focus on inferential comprehension. However, when we see that inferential comprehension difficulties and then we have to start to check up even from beginning, even in a sensory level, and then you have to move on. This is a diagnostic instruction diagnostic teaching. So diagnostic teaching is not only focus on what child cannot do right now. It's not that. That is more like a disability focused, uh, deficit focused, uh, weakness focused uh, instruction. That's not right instruction. There is, uh, it's not we are feeling potholes. So when we see some leaking, we have to examine from the way beginning. Okay, so diagnostic instructions easily, quickly, you could do it. It's just checking. 
It's not just testing the child. You just teach the child. So it's like a simply, just simple passages requiring only sensory level processing. And then you just sit down and read and then you could work on together and then you could see the child could answer and understand. And then child could do very fluently, very well, proficiently. And then you move on to the perceptual level. And then simply just like a child understand the object functions and the object object relations. So if you know, then causal relations and attribute relations. So you check those and then you move on to the gradually conceptual processing. So that's how you know comprehension goes. Since these days, many children, even though they could read, their comprehension is very issues. Many children lose their interest in reading book because of this comprehension and comprehension is just a watching mental movies. So that's a conceptual comprehension, conceptual processing. Mental movie means it's not, you cannot see the visually, tangibly, physically, right? So it, it is mindly and mentally you could represent and imagine and when you read those written language, right, text. So that's you know comprehension. So I just uh, connected uh, today. It's just like a perceptual, conceptual, those processing, and then factual and abstract uh, information and knowledge. It's uh, related to this processing, and then literal and inferential comprehension.